So the next part of the process is explore and I'm going to talk about a little bit how I researched my subject matter, you know, what inspired me and what challenged me, you know, where I where I could get, pull ideas from and basically, you know, get get the creative juices flowing. So I uh went on, you know, trusty Google and gathered some references from, you know, some military tech gear and uh just some tablets, military laptops and so I'll I'll share a little bit of that with you. So, you know, you can see see here this is uh you know, probably a command center set up somewhere. And they're probably controlling anything from a predator to to remote cameras and assistant soldiers in the battlefield. And so I thought it'd be neat to take this, you know, idea and instead of having it, you know, off in a distance, given the control of that predator missile or, you know, the UAVs to the, you know, soldiers in the field, you know, give them, you know, basically a an iPad or a tablet and let them have access to all that in the field with uh, information from their commanders, um, mission dossiers, you know, photos of targets. Um, you know, basically it's a, it would be a great tool. Uh, so... I'll show you some of the other images that I gathered. And you can see, you know, how the monitor housing's built and you know, we can start to gather some ideas for how we want to build our stuff. So here's a another keyboard and monitor combo. You can see this folds up in. So this could be mounted wherever they'd need it to be, but as you can tell it's still large. I mean it's you know, a large monitor and then a keyboard here, so you know you can't really carry anything like that around with you. So I looked at uh like some military type, like this is a military iPhone case. And you can see that, you know, it's got protective stuff in case you drop it. It's got the clip. Um it's got the full screen here and it looks like they got a screen protector over it. It's inset a little bit, so if it's dropped, it doesn't contact the screen itself. It'll hopefully use the outer shell as a buffer protect the screen a little bit better and stuff. So, you know, starting to get a little bit of idea of where I want to go with mine and here's a Dell laptop that's been reinforced um, with protective gear. So, you know, starting to get a bit more ideas, you know, what I want to do with mine, what kind of approach I want to take to it and, you know, basically what I want my final product to look like. And, I mean, you can spend you know, a ton of time gathering reference, or you can just spend a few minutes and find a few things that you really like, design elements that, you know, that will work for you, inspire you a little bit, and, you know, I I gathered up quite a, quite a bit of stuff, um, but I mean, I was I was pretty much inspired pretty quickly by, by a few of the things, and you can see in, in this one here, it looks like they're sharing some camera stuff here, and it looks like a map with targets or people uh, locations on it here, so I think it'd be pretty neat to, you know, to bring this into the into the military area and you know put it into a game, and you know have your mission pop up, you know, and see it, and you know keep keep you immersed in the game and not have to you know break that you know immersion level at all, and still get updates and stuff while you're in the game. So um, we'll go on to the next step now and talk about how I uh, started to solidify my ideas and you know come to a solution that I wanted to start my process with